Hey guys, so you know we love doing giveaways here at Tight Medical Center, right? Well, we're in the Halloween spirit. So that means we're gonna do a Halloween costume contest. That's right, you could win a free medical consult and a free vitamin amino acid injectable blend from Tight Medical Center. That's right, it's really easy and simple to do too. If you guys wanna enter, all you have to do is go to Tight Medical Center on Facebook or at Tight Medical on Instagram. After that, break out your favorite or best Halloween costume. Make sure you guys post it and tag Tight Medical Center on Facebook or at Tight Medical on Instagram. That will automatically enter you guys in for the Halloween costume contest. That's right, it's this Saturday, so you have plenty of time to get that costume out, get it on, and take a great pick. So we're looking forward to seeing all these great costumes. We're gonna pick two winners, male and female. So we're gonna give both genders a chance to win. We're gonna grade all these picks and have the winner by Tuesday of next week on Titan Talk Tuesday with me at 6 p.m. We'll see you there. Hey, what's up guys? Sharice DeCor is here, one of the owners of Titan Medical Center. So I wanted to give you a little insight on my day. Not only am I gonna be working today, but I also have Peter here on his winter vacation. And of course, I have to go get my lashes done because it's just what we have to do as women is look great, right? So I wanted to give you some insight on my wonderful, fun day and all my Titan therapies that help me look better, feel better, perform better, help me with my energy, my motivation, my drive, my memory, and everything else I do between a 24 hour period. Sharice here again. Just left the office over at Titan to go get my lashes done. Now, why do I need to get my lashes done? I need to get them done because I have to look good at all times, or that's how I feel anyway. So my lashes, my nails, and my hair have to be done at all times. Now, I was super, super excited to bring my little one with me, Peter. Hi guys. <laughs> it's his break, he's on winter break. So I had to bring him with me. Of course, every kid wants to come with mom to get their lashes done, right? Cause it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> so he's here with me, you know, I'm ex extremely, extremely busy. So I gotta make sure that I condense everything and make sure that I still have time to spend with Peter. guys so I am now getting my lashes done which to me anyway is super super important so to you know everyone else out there I honestly feel like I'm constantly in the spotlight <laughs> literally speaking <laughs> and you know when you're in the spotlight in a position like mine you must look good at all times so that means hair nails lashes Skin, everything needs to be on point at all times so no matter how busy I get in the day with my 500 emails and 500 text messages and you know 15 employees and every other thing under the planet you know you got to make time and uh, you know I wish there was a small microwave oven that I can just hop into and get my lashes done so I don't have to sit here. In all honesty, I'm not like your typical female that likes to get lashes done or likes to get their nails done and like they truly enjoy it. Cause there are a lot of females out there 
they go get this stuff done it's like almost like a zen thing for them to like enjoy and relax and you know just pamper themselves honestly and I love you <laughs> before I say this but it's like a chore because I don't necessarily have the time to get this done but I have to make time for it or I feel like I have to make time for it anyway so it's important that you know you look good feel good and perform good but you know along with you know making sure that you're eating properly and that you're exercising I mean obviously you can do all those things and then you know decide not to brush your hair or teeth and you know decide to let your nails grow out and uh you know it's not going to really balance out the look that you're trying to achieve so it's important it's really important and getting lashes are super important to me anyway <laughs> it's been such a long day right yeah. what's up guys so you guys just saw me get my lashes done and become ever so beautiful again <laughs> you've always been beautiful i love you too baby so I figured I'd just take a second because we did run out of some daylight outside. You know, there's only so many hours in the day. My day consists of about 20 out of 24, which is phenomenally fun. Um, but I did want to take a second to sit down and have a little chat with this little one. So, okay, let me ask you a question. So, you know mommy and dad work all the time and we're busy and you know this, yeah. but I mean, how do you feel about it? Um, I think that you guys are pretty busy during the week, but every day after work, you guys would always spend time with me, and every um, so often, you guys would um, give me quality time, and <clears throat> it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like doing things with you. We always try to make sure we go to Disney World or try to do some family vacations, and steal them away for a weekend if we can, you know? So let me ask you, obviously you know what Titan Medical Center does. Yes. <laughs> and you know the importance of Titan Medical Center. Yes. Now, I have to give this credit to Dad, so I'm gonna give Dad credit number one. So tell me a little bit about what Dad's taught you about being healthy, how important it is to be healthy. I think he's taught you a little bit about labels and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about labels, but you can tell me. Uh, so do you want me to talk about first about the health or the labels first? Mm, let's go with the health first. How, how, why is it so important to be healthy? I mean, who wants to be healthy? It's, um, important to be healthy because, um, when you're younger, let's say 30s and under, you would, uh, lo like, love all these sweets and delicious, um, stuff that you can drink and eat. But when you, like... Um, when you get very like older, let's say 60s, 50s, you'll start having um, bad health issues as it, um, the cause of diabetes or heart problems, and <coughs> these could cause to a death or many pain. You would think this was actually rehearsed, but I swear it has not been rehearsed. That literally just came out of John's mouth. This is mini John right here. <laughs> so as Peter said, it's so important to be healthy. So I have to be healthy, not just for myself, but for my little one, all of my family, and of course my lovely husband, and our business, and all our patients, because they're our family. So it's important to be healthy. Can't get diabetes, can't get hypothyroidism, can't get high cholesterol issues, hyperlipidemia, high blood pressure. These are all the bad things that happen when you're not healthy, right? Or heart problems. Or heart that problems. That can cause many deaths. That can cause many deaths. Nobody wants many deaths, for sure. <laughs> yeah,
we wanted to show you how easy it was to do a lab test or blood testing through Titan Medical Center. So we're here at a lab that's local to us, but we can send you in anywhere nationwide to a lab that's local to your zip code or designation. So it's real easy. Call us up 727-389-3220 or you can visit our website www.titanmedicalcenter.com. You can go on there and inquiry for this and we can go through what blood tests we run and why we run what blood tests we do. Real easy, print out your paper, come to the lab and then they draw your blood. All you got to do is have your paper and your driver's license, okay? And then you're good to go. Hey guys, Sharice here with Titan Medical Center. I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit about how the process is of going to get your labs done and the importance of getting your labs done. I drank a ton of water this morning, so I'm super hydrated, which is very important for your lab testing, not only for your kidney function readings and your liver enzymes, but to make sure that your veins are nice and plumpy so they don't have to stick you two or three times, okay? So with that being said, I'm getting my thyroid tested, I'm getting my estrogen levels tested. As you guys know that follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you guys know I have had issues with battling estrogen, you know, the lots of estrogen in my body and trying to get it regulated. So it's important that you go frequently to get it dialed in to where it needs to be so that way you know exactly where you're at because you don't know exactly where you're at without having that blood test to show you exact numbers of where you're at. So I am here today to see exactly where those numbers are at, make sure all my levels are dialed in and you know make sure I'm feeling good and everything is where it needs to be and I'm healthy. So I'm here with Pablo and he is the bomb, okay? He's very good, I do not at all like getting my blood drawn i don't even look when they do it <laughs> but it was uh virtually painless <laughs> with that being said i think they're taking maybe like i don't know five six tubes six oh six tubes <laughs> so guys it's super super easy to do just give us a call 727-389-3220 you can visit our website www.titanmedicalcenter.com if you're experiencing any symptoms like low libido low energy lack of motivation drive concentration foggy thinking water retention stubborn fat you can't get rid of i mean just pretty much your day-to-day -day operations. If you're feeling any of those things, it's very important to get your blood tested. Because a lot of times, you might go to your regular doctor and then they put you on something called a Band-Aid, okay? And they put a Band-Aid on a bleeding wound because they don't have the background to be able to really dig in and dive in and be able to find out what the core of the issue is. So, you know, antidepressants and libido enhancers, they're all great and everything, I suppose, but, you know, if you don't fix the core of the problem, you're really not fixing the issue. So get your blood tested. Now it's time for you to fill out your new patient paperwork. So I want to go over some common questions or even some concerns on the new patient paperwork that some people are brought up. Hopefully this will help you guys fill out the new patient paperwork with ease and you guys can submit it and be on your way to be a Titan Medical Center patient. Let's go over some of these common issues or problems that are happening. First thing is, every line needs to be filled in on the new patient paperwork. When you go to each line, it will have a blank area where you can fill something in. You're gonna to wanna to fill something in on every line, but there might be some things that do not pertain to you. If they don't pertain to you, just put NA on there and we'll know exactly what you're talking about when the new patient paperwork comes in. This is probably the most common problem with people filling out the new patient paperwork. They leave one blank space and then they can't submit the new patient paperwork. The reason that we have it like this is because we need to make sure that you fill out all the areas necessary for us to give you the best type medical center customer or patient experience. So the next one, Skype username. If you don't have a Skype username, put NA. If you have a Skype username, you can put it. But if you're gonna use an Apple product like an iPhone or an iPad, you don't need a Skype username. After that, you filled out all the blanks, family history, health history, symptoms, and all of the pages. At the end, you're gonna to wanna to just press submit. Usually, if there's no problems or all the fields are filled in, it's gonna submit with ease and Tight Medical Center should receive it on our end and be giving you a phone call or contacting you about helping you guys out with therapies or services. 
If you've submitted the new patient paperwork and you have not got a call or a text from Titan Medical Center, please call us or text us and make sure that we did in fact receive your new patient paperwork. We would hate for you to go through this process of filling out the new patient paperwork and for you not to be able to get serviced or get our therapies that you guys want. So please contact us just to make sure if you have not received a phone call or a text message. I hope this has helped and we look forward to having you part of the Titan Medical Center family. What's up guys, I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. So uh, it's awesome. Uh, this show is really to help you guys out there with some tips, some tricks, some things that maybe we've went through or we've experienced or we've seen with somebody that's close to us or some of our friends go through in their relationships and to really help you guys out. Maybe so you guys don't make the same mistakes mm -hmm. or you guys have a benefit or an upper advantage on things. So uh, you guys are ahead of the curve, right? That's what it's all about, being ahead of the curve in whatever you're doing in life. You wanna make sure that you're as prepared as possible and we're never prepared in any situation as much as we possibly can, right? Mm -hmm. We wanna try to. So this week, we're gonna focus in on something that people should really pay attention to and that is appreciate your partner for the little things, okay? So we always think about the big things in life big experiences, uh, situations that we're in, um, you know, experiences with your partner maybe, right? Mm -hmm. The big ones like weddings or big trips or whatever it may be. It really does, you know, circle back to that, you know, when we have these memories like, oh, we're on this trip, you know, or oh, remember our marriage or whatever it was. But we really don't focus in on the little things, I think. And I think the, the little things really add up to the big part. Yeah, um, they're daily things too daily things that you probably wouldn't even think of. You're like, oh, and then, you know what, if your partner was gone or mm -hmm. you weren't by them, you'd probably think about, it, oh man, I, you know, I, I, I remember that. this and I missed that, yeah. right? So there's a couple different things. So for example, the first one, you know, watching TV together or watching a movie together, right? <laughs> this can become very interesting. This can become very interesting. <laughs> so, you know, if you guys have the same taste, you guys don't have the same taste in this, you guys can experience these movies or programs um, or TV shows, uh, and you can do it comfortably. So you're not like uncomfortable with the, around the person you're with mm -hmm. or whatever it is, um, not judging you, or you might be talking or asking questions. But think about it. If you weren't with your partner, you weren't comfortable, right? You would probably be uncomfortable and that would make the situation just not feel good all the way around. Um, either they're talking too much, you're talking too much, or like, oh man, I wish this person would just be quiet right now. Because I'm just trying to watch this movie and see what goes on. You know, I, I think we go through this a lot. Like me and Sharice, we're pretty good about not talking during movies and stuff yeah, like we're that. Yeah, really good about it. I might say something here or there, but I've definitely been around like my dad, per se, and that dude will not stop talking. <laughs> Even if I ignore him, like, you know, like this we usually do, you kind of ignore him. He goes, with somebody else, you know, you kind of shake your head, like you just keep watching the TV, whatever it may be. If it's, the news or a movie or a TV show and you're like trying to listen in because you don't want to miss these parts. <laughs> so at that point, you know, some, some couples might experience that and that's kind of when you get to know each other too, right? Mm -hmm. So w when you're like first dating or first being around each other a lot, you might be doing this and you'll know right away if that person is going to get on your nerves or not. Yeah, okay, you'll, you'll, you'll know. You'll, you'll know pretty quick. And that will kind of, you know, that will set the tone on some things. You're like, oh, I really want to be by this person. Oh, you know, I need, I need some time away. Yeah, me, I need to go into my man cave. Let, let me go some time away or whatever it is because I just, I just can't hear this right now. You know, I mean, it's just a little things like, uh, you know, having your partner, you know, write you a letter or get you a coffee in the morning or, or something like that. It's like a little thing, right? 
But something like that could really you know brighten up somebody's day, your partner's day per se. You can write a little letter, and I think we've talked about that before. Um, Sharice has definitely done it for me you know, often. I might be in the bathroom, I might shut the door, and there, poof, <laughs> there, there, there's a there's a paper just sitting there. Well, you see, know? I knew he'd see it. Yeah, like, <laughs> letter, right? You know, uh, you know, I, or you know, you bring your your partner lunch or whatever it is, or you set their lunches out for them. You know, that that's a nice thing. You know, even dinner, right? So. If one person is making dinner all the time, maybe you might, as a partner, do the dinner. Or you might appreciate it, you know, that your partner's doing these dinners for you or setting these dinners up for you, which is really, really nice. I mean, I mean, it can always just be a simple gesture, too. It's all the way down, and this sounds so simple. But let's say your partner's in the shower, and you realize your partner doesn't have a towel. <laughs> you can say, hey, listen, do you need a towel? It's the little things that you don't realize is does add up to these big things yeah. that makes a huge difference. It's a huge difference. Yeah. And it's just honestly considering your partner's feelings, always thinking like, what should I do or what can I do to make them happy? That kind of thing. You know, it's just being it considerate. Along, yeah. Being unselfish. Yeah. You know, some people are selfish out there and you know, might maybe, Hey, listen, they were an only child or I hear like, you know, a lot of bodybuilders are really selfish. They only care about the body working out and eating or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. And they don't think about their partner or what their partner wants or what they want to do. It's always about them, them, them. And I'm not just talking about bodybuilders, but just a regular person. You know, there's people out there that are selfish and that's the way they think. Whatever they're doing is the most important thing and just putting their partner to the side. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, it's taking them for granted almost to a certain point. Um, and, and different relationships work different ways, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's different roles in these different relationships. There's different ways that people like to be treated. Um, you know, I mean, there's people out there that definitely like the dominant side. Some people don't like the dominant side. I mean, it just, it is what it is. But you learn these little things. And there's little flaws or, or little um, kudos, I guess, is what I would call them, <laughs> that you might find out about your partner, right? There might be some things that you really, really, really like. And there's other things you can live with, but you might not like. Yeah. Whether it be snoring or... Little things. Just little things out there, you know, like chewing with your mouth open. I mean, I'm just thinking of something offhand. But that could be annoying to somebody, or somebody might not like that. I'm like, close I mean, your mouth shut. It could, it could literally be the smallest thing. Like, um, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure somebody's thought about this out there. But you know, the toilet paper roll, right? You have, you can put it this way, or you can put it this way, oh, right? Yeah. And um, some people don't like it one way or the other. So if your partner decides, oh, let me be so nice and refill the toilet paper roll and puts it the other way, you're like, geez, just do it this way. Why don't you do it this way? <laughs> So, you know, it's a little thing. Yeah, it's something as little as that, right? <laughs> it's a little. And I don't think we have a problem with that in our household, but no. I have heard people complain about this. Yes. And definitely take it to an argument. Like, Crazy. put it on Facebook. Like, what do you think is right? This way or this way? <laughs> you know, Joni thinks it's this way, and I think it should be this way. What do you guys think out there? Well, that's something that you and Joni should, you know, you guys should talk about and figure out. Not yeah. let out to the world and have them, you know, comment on your relationship on how oh, something no, be. Oh, no, no, Because your partner might not like that, that you're getting outside advice about something that you guys should be handling in-house. But this comes back, all the way back, we bring it in every single episode, communication, okay? Your partner, unless they might be a mind reader, because there are some mind readers out there. I'm just kidding. But um, they're not mind readers, so you're going to have to communicate with them. So if there's a problem or you're upset about something or mm -hmm. maybe you think your partner's upset about mm -hmm. something or maybe your partner's acting a certain way and you want to know maybe did I do something wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to have to open your mouth and ask, mm -hmm. okay? If you don't ask, they won't tell. You guys may never talk about it. And then what happens then? Things get built up. And they build, 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 build until they just explode. That's and right. then the explosion is never good. Something is always going to be set on fire during the explosion. So you don't want it to get to that point. So communication, huge. You need to be able to communicate with your partner. Mm -hmm. That communication, they may not like it at that very second. But at least you're communicating. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because like I said, if you don't communicate, they're not going to know. Mm -hmm. So that's just another little thing, like adding communication, right? Uh, like these little things literally will add up. So even if it's something really little that, you know what, you kind of blow off that you didn't like your partner doing. You just blew it off and didn't say anything. But these little things keep adding up, adding up, adding up, and getting higher and higher and higher until you get at the end and you kind of explode and you bring out all these different things. And they're like, whoa. Right. Like, I didn't know you <laughs> felt like that or I didn't know this was like that or why didn't you tell me this? 
you know, because you let it build up. You haven't communicated those little things and being considerate to your partner. Because, I mean, that's kind of what it is, is consideration factor of you being able to communicate your issues, problems, questions, concerns, or even something that makes you happy. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's another thing. You know, people, we always talk about communicating, and it has to be about something that maybe they don't want to talk about or something that might be a hard subject to talk about. But also communicating the good things that make you happy. Well, you know, it'll let your partner know maybe maybe I should do this more in the future. Maybe mm-hmm. she'll like this. You know, maybe I can add on top of this. And that will be another little thing that's right. a positive thing that you can add to it. Right. You know, so it, it all goes back to those little things adding up to a big result, whatever it may be. So you probably have your little things with your partner. We have our little things with me and Sharice that yeah. we like and, you know, that we can do. You know, even people watching, that was another one. Like, literally, like, people, yeah, that's fun. they can sit there, they can people watch, they can sit on a bench and just relax and kind of laugh and talk amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. Not making fun of people, but, you know, you're people watching. You might make a crack here or there, you know. <laughs> Uh, but that's between you guys, you know, and that's something that you guys can share. And like, that's another bonding experience too. These little things, these little actions and things equal big bonding experiences that bring you closer together. Okay, so I hope that this tip has helped you guys, or it helped you enlighten maybe in the future on your relationship or your current relationship with your partner. And maybe you'll realize these little things when you're doing them, and then you'll really appreciate them. Okay, yeah. so. Another Cupid's Corner down. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to us every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. That's on cable ABC. Uh, one of my friends, Jason Skelton, said, hey, listen, oh, I looked on a line. ABC. No, 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 we're on the TV, cable ABC, okay? <laughs> so you guys tune in there. Now, if you don't have cable TV or you're not in the state of Florida, you guys need to tune into YouTube or our Facebook page or Titan Medical Center Facebook page guys are on youtube you guys can check out all the other episodes of our tight medical health and lifestyle show plus all the cupid's corners are in there for you guys to check out maybe you missed some things maybe you guys want some more information because we're breaking down some pretty good information for you guys okay? <laughs> we try all right so at that point please tune in every sunday to us 11 if you can't hit the dvr or go on youtube or our tight medical center facebook page i'm john and i'm sharice and we appreciate you guys tuning in to another cupid's corner we'll see you next week